Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday. Um, second video of the day, because the first one was a botch. Uh, let me quickly recap uh, what we're talking about today. Euro, we have Euro PMIs today. If they beat, we want to buy Euros uh, through 96, uh, which is the uh, November high. Uh, and if they miss, if Euro PMIs miss, we want to sell Euro Yen. So Euro Yen got smacked yesterday. There's this. Uh, sorry, I want the dailies. There's an interesting trend line here. That kind of defines things. Um, so we sell Euro Yen if the PMIs miss. Uh, Aussie Yen, been talking about this for a while. Same type of trend line. GDP missed yesterday in Australia. Um, you can see I'm rushing a bit here. Uh, GDP missed in Australia. This trend line comes in at 97. So if you're Believer in risk on, you want to buy Aussie Yen against this trend line for higher highs. If you're a believer in risk off, which we are, uh, you want to sell Aussie Yen through, um, through 97. The low's been 06 so far, so be patient with this. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Cable also, interesting technical setup. Doesn't make a lot of sense buying cable up through here, but uh, 130.12 is... Um, is now an interesting double top. There should be some uh, forced buying above this level. Risk bounced when Trump changed his mind about the urgency of trade, but we're still in a pretty negative scenario. We still have bearish engulfing at the all-time highs, so we are selling high ones today. We'll be selling between 3100 and 3110. Um, Continuing on the core short side of things, dollar yen, same thing. Core short, uh, we had some technical offers last night at 75, did not get done, 68 the high. Uh, we think this is going to continue, just like stocks, we think the high is in. So now you just have to tactically trade this correctly and remain core short. Um, Sterling, Aussie Yen, Dollar Yen, Dollar Swiss, interesting. Uh, eventually, 98.40 is going to go. We talked about it yesterday. This often is very trendy. Uh, selling high ones today makes sense. The death knock of yesterday's trend line, uh, if you're looking for a place to sell, it will be uh, 99. Ninety-nine oh three oh five. Um, so I don't think we're going to get up there. Maybe sell between uh, eighty-five and ninety-five today in dollar Swiss. Uh, but again, watch out for PMIs today. Um, this will affect Euro Swiss. So if Euro Swiss starts jamming higher, uh, you'd rather be long Euro than short dollar Swiss, if you know what I mean. Uh, what else is there? Not really too much. So basically, we've got our eyes on uh, services PMI out of Europe this morning. We've got our also UK numbers at 1030 for the cable levels. We're watching this Aussie yen uh, chart and its trend line. Australia missed its GDP. Plus, we could get some more risk off today. Um, and then... Oh yeah, one last thing. We want to keep our eye out on this dollar czar chart. Nobody knows why we're going to get through 50. Um, as all of you know, I'm notoriously bearish uh, from a global macro perspective on South Africa. Uh, I love the country. I love the countryside. I love all the people that I meet from there. Um, there's a big global diaspora here in Europe. 
of South Africans, especially here in Geneva. So um, I wouldn't say I know the country, but I know a whole cartload of people from there. Amazing. But the country itself and the economic situation, the drought and the political vacuum uh, makes me hard to be bullish uh, the currency. That said, all of my peers are also bearish that currency and their stops are going to be below 1450. So there'll be some money to be made at least in the short term if we get below 1450. All right, I've said enough. I got some other stuff to do here. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. If you like my videos in the morning, please subscribe. Um, you know, we're going to have to take this private, it looks like. Uh, we just don't really, it just really hasn't really caught on um, as well as we thought it would. Uh, maybe the quality's not as good or whatnot, but. Um, you know, we got to get to a thousand or else we're just going to take this private. So call your Uncle Bob, steal his phone, subscribe for him. He'll never know anyway. Um, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later.